because uh, scleroderma is both more frequent and more severe in the African-American population, that possibly we could find some clues with regard to the cause of scleroderma by studying scleroderma in this population. A group of physicians, patients, and of course the Scleroderma Research Foundation all got together and we assembled a group of over a thousand African-American patients with scleroderma. It confirmed some of the insights we had before that these patients really do present at a relatively young age compared to other groups. That is also important from the point of view of early screening for early detection because time is always of the essence with a condition like this and you want to intervene when you can, where you can, and educate the patient. If I were speaking to another patient with scleroderma, I would tell them that there's research that's being done that may in fact help them down the road. So <clears throat> it's important not only just to volunteer, but it's also important to go out and be an advocate for scleroderma. The ability to look at the entire genome and to identify changes that actually activate mechanism of damage, it's really crucial. Uh, doing genetic study has been evolving very rapidly and, and the partnership with the uh, National Human Genome Research Institute allow us to access the best technology. Because of this partnership, we now can really look in depth to the sequence of the DNA of our patients. If we can understand those genes, we can influence the biology and stop the disease from progressing, not only in the African-American patients, but in all patients that have scleroderma. GRASP is something that I think is absolutely essential for African-American scleroderma patients to consider participating in. Oftentimes, in order to really get the kind of information that we need, we may need several thousand uh, patients. And to really see what's in common amongst the African-American patients and what are the things that may be uh, the subtleties that we really need to understand in order to, to move this forward. As long as I can talk and put two feet in front of me, I will always be talking about scleroderma and finding <clears throat> a root to the cause of it. We know a lot about scleroderma because we've learned about scleroderma from our patients. Obviously with studies like this it's completely optional, but know that our heart is in the right place and we really are doing it for our patients and we're more than happy to help enroll or answer any further questions that any of the patients may have.